I've actually, I actually don't know how to do Spirit Hover. Uh, Forest Temple, and I can technically do most of it. I have the Strength Upgrade. I... Yeah, I can do almost everything, if not everything here. I mean, I do have bomb juice, but... You know. At some point, I need to go back to speedrunning this game from time to time, because it is fun to do. I just haven't touched it in probably, like, four years. I've just been doing randomizers for the most part. Is this going to be important or do I not care? Uh come on. No. I was hoping to be able to land on top of this. How did my Kokiri sword end up there? What are the odds, right? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to jump on that. This guy just laid down and died. Okay, uh, Power Star once again. As per usual, that fairy is incredibly important to me. Another power star. The fact that my freaking Kokiri sword is a place I can see but I can't get to yet, that sucks. do that because I don't have the hook shot. Yeah, I don't have the iron boots or hook shot, so I can't get to the other room and I can't uh, get that chest. Then I guess I just make progress in the dungeon. Oh, right. Pots. Are there any on the opposite side? There are, and they are, in fact, important. Oh, wait, what was that? That wasn't a power store. What was that? That was the Vanish Cap. That's incredibly important. I say, it's, I think it's actually only required for three things in the game. 
Actually, one of the things isn't even a requirement, turns out. Actually, think about it, is the Vanish Cap necessary for anything? Because you can use Wall Jump to get over the Vanish Cap, of course, Wall. You can just swim for the one in Jolly Roger Bay. Or not Jolly Roger Bay, uh, Dry Dry Docks. Um... Oh no, right, it's, you need it for dry dry docks, you don't need the iron, the metal cap, that's what it is. Hey, Joy Rancher Bay sounds delicious. Real talk though, uh, what flavor? Because there are a couple correct answers, and there are a couple incorrect ones. Chair is not one of the correct ones for me. Nah. Like, on principle, I have to say the blue raspberry one, just because it's blue, but the actual answer for me is the uh, green apple one. came so far, just to fail. Oh, I forgot to do the thing. Blue raspberry is great and all, but actual flavor-wise, I do really like the green apple. So it's interesting. I know a lot of people who have different preferences on, you know, every different kind of candy, and some of them are like, oh yeah, no, I get that. Other ones are, man, I'm not sure we, if we can be friends anymore. <laughs> like, what's a good example of a really shit candy? Like, a divisive candy would be something like uh, Starbursts. Like, some people are very opinionated on that. But... There's just some candies that I don't get at all. And then there's always the stable ones. Like, um, saltwater taffy. I really like saltwater taffy. I know some people who would disown me. They hate saltwater taffy, and I don't, I don't really understand it at all. Okay, here's one, though. There's a correct answer for this one. Like, one correct answer. Laffy Taffy flavor. Which one? Alright. See you, man. <laughs> Have a productive day and whatnot. Meanwhile, I'm getting a shit ton of arrows. Oh, 
Oh, right, I forgot how bad that is. of truth that right there made this all worth it another power star power star the biggest bomb bag already. Can I just block this? So you just block it twice and then jump slash. Okay. That's even easier than I thought it was. Dang. One whole dollar? That I didn't even get to keep? Wow! That's the bigger on sword. Mmm, that's good. That's that's really good. That's double damage. Okay. Um Well. No way I'm lighting that up. That really just shows how good of a start we've had. I think it's actually on the opposite. No, it's right here. Activate the shortcut back and stop it there because I don't have the hook shot, so I can't actually do what it wants me to do there. I can always come back and do that again.
The Song of Time. That actually gets me access to the other side now. Cool. I wonder if you can get crushed by these. I've never actually tried that before. it went too far. Also went too far, but I did let go. I just, you know, I guess held it for a quarter second too long. Can I block without the shield is the question. No. Double damage the ah. I win. I'm not a loser, I'm a wiener! No pots, okay. You know what? Actually, for trying that. Go. Because the ghost is up there now, or at least it should be, even if I go through this entrance, it makes more sense for me to come back this way. It's gonna suck if I have to go through that entire path again, but might as well give it a shot. I'm glad I did. See if I can get some health or something. Easy peasy.
So I can't get this no matter what, but might as well check. Does not matter anyway. that bad bubble yeah okay I need light arrows and then I can and a whatever I need to beat uh, whatever trials and then I can beat the game also, I need enough hearts to get there, because I have it set to hearts, but, you know. Um, next stream, we're going to be beating the game, because I'm not going to be continuing this much longer. It's already almost noon at this point, so I'm getting a little bit zoned out. I get tired pretty easy. Skydiving. Uh, before I forget, because I almost did just forget. Oh, uh, Poe in a bottle. Which means I have a functional bottle now. And a full heal. As well as progress towards, uh, in its castle. So I'm at six hearts currently, which, no, seven hearts currently, which means I've gotten four hearts. I need a total of 12 to be able to get to Ganon's castle. So out of the nine additional ones I need to get, I already have four of them. So not bad, not bad. Um... I guess let's go this side path up here, and then we can go and beat the boss for this temple. Fairly smooth. This will probably be the end of this stream, which seems like a good place to end it to me. Um... I'll probably end up streaming tomorrow, so I'm not sure if I'm going to stream this game or if I'm going to start, like, a Mori or... Uh, probably not Rune Factor Frontier. I need to finish Rune Factor 2's, you know, additional content, which I have recorded an another episode and almost done editing that. Gotta stay on task on that. <laughs> I got a key for the thieves hideout. That's important, so neat. Done and dusted. Please stop going green. There we go. There we go. Huh. 
Okay. Yep. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't care. You care. All right. Boss battle time. I guess technically like two more checks and then boss battle time. Can't get this, but what is it? A recovery heart. At some point, I've got to come back to this dungeon once I have the hook shot. I probably should have checked the hook shot location when I was uh, in the graveyard, but eh. If I haven't found it by like halfway through the stream next time, I'll actually use that hint. Push back this way is this the one? The one, the one, the one. Let's check. So that'll just be the one I've already pressed. And then one more. I don't think I have the boss key for this place. Comedy. 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 Alright, let's leave the temple and get Sheik to say hi to us. Our first meeting with Sheik was leaving the spirit temple. That's Zelda's little by. Hell yeah. Well, I can go over here and do this now. That actually unlocks a lot of checks for me right now. So I guess what I'm going to do with these is I'm just going to have like an edited version and probably an unedited, just like stream version. So between this stream and the next one, I'll decide if I'm playing this game again or not. I'll figure that out. Um, yeah, I'm yawning already. I've only been up for like a little over four hours and I'm already yawning. Terribly. Um, so I'm going to call it here. Thank you all for watching today. I had a lot of fun. This is my first stream in a while, as many of you already know. But, you know, three hour stream's not a bad one. Just short of three hour. So I'll probably end up streaming tomorrow, maybe the day after. I'm not sure. I'm going to try to 
figure out what days of the week. At least three, if not closer to four or five days a week where I stream for around three hours, if not more or less. Um, I'm going to try to be consistent. I'm going to figure out my actual schedule and figure out when would be best for other people when I'm streaming. It's probably going to be mostly mornings. That way I can get some of my European friends to be able to watch and whatnot. Um, you know, figure it out. Dream <sighs> yawns. <laughs> Thanks all. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.